So is this Ankylos SMG worth grinding? This is an SMG that you can receive from doing the Escalation Protocol this week and killing the 7th Wave boss. With that being said, however, is this a deadly force to be reckoned with in Crucible? Guys, I'm sitting at right now currently 8,126 kills in Crucible with SMGs. Those are raw kills. SMGs are my most used weapon among all things. I've got currently 2,600 kills with Antiope and over 3,000 kills with Stochastic Variable. Stochastic is my baby and it's in an energy slot. So for anything to actually take its place, it has to be amazing. And so this Igolos was something that I was going to judge harshly from the get-go. Was not even planning on putting a review on it because to be honest with you guys, I wasn't that impressed with it. But I had so many people want me to put my thoughts out on this gun. So here it is. The 750 round per minute SMGs are not in a good place in Crucible. And let's talk about it. The crit damage right now is 16 per crit with body shot damage at 15 per crit. Now that wouldn't be a problem, but again, we're looking at 750 round per minute, as in your time to kill at 5 crits, 8 body shot is 1.03 seconds. As in things like Hero's Burden, Mob Justice, and even New City, there's a better time to kill, crit to crit, and a better body shot time to kill. Needless to say, guys, mathematically, we're already putting ourselves at a disadvantage by using this archetype. Now, Iclos comes with a hefty range stat at 54. It also comes with a hefty handling stat at 73. But regardless of those two stats being and superb the stability on this weapon is piss poor to make matters worse the flinch it takes when you're receiving gunfire is very very bad there's just so many things here that are pointing to it being a bad choice for pvp guys like everyone else i was very excited about the perk disruption break that it has which essentially allows you to deal more kinetic precision damage upon breaking enemy shield in theory this sounds really nice and yes it does throw the kinetic damage up not even just precision damage just base damage. Vigilant Swing was hitting 22 per body shot, while Anio was also hitting 23 per body shot. This is extremely nasty when you can proc it. The problem is proccing it. Now, exotics like Peacekeepers and Fidian Aspects definitely help in swapping back over your Kinetic to get that faster TTK, but again, you still have to swap to another weapon, reallocate the target, and start shooting again. A lot of this takes a lot of time, and it doesn't help the fact that this weapon already has a poor time to kill in comparison to other SMGs. And this is so disheartening because Disruption Break is a really cool perk. I just wish I can rewrite it. Instead of it being that one specific enemy being vulnerable to kinetic precision damage, I wish there was a period, maybe six, seven seconds, in which the user of the SMG can now deal extra kinetic damage to all enemies, at least until that duration runs out. The fact that this is only applicable to the target of which you pop the shield on means this is just not a perk for PvP. The Seraph Rounds as well as Grave Robber is a perfect combination to bring into PvE. Now Threat Detector is on this weapon and you can use that in competitive to kind of get an idea of where enemies are going to be at whenever they get within like what 10-15 meters. I don't know the exact distance but that's whenever it activates. Now the perk itself is a good perk. I really do like Threat Detector but I don't know the bell curve to it because Threat Detector itself being activated doesn't make that big of a difference for me. Threat Detector times 2 on Oh my god. Threat detector times three, the gun doesn't hardly move. If that could stay more often, if I could keep threat detector times two and times three more without, of course, just getting melee to death, I would love using this weapon more. But that's a very difficult thing to do without dying. So guys, for me at least, on console, this weapon is just not in a good spot. Really, I think the biggest complaint I have with it, and I think it would be fixed, is if we didn't have barrel perks for this gun, but instead just had actual scopes. See, the zoom factor on this gun is only 1.3, which is very poor. Put that in comparison, guys. The SC hollow sight on Annie Open Sundock is at 2.125 times zoom, which is why the gun does so well in all of its engagements, even in the mid-range level. So it's not that this weapon is just terrible, because I know I'm making it out to be just terrible. It's just that there's so many SMGs out there that are better. Guys, those are my thoughts on it, man. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I seem to see more success from this weapon on PC. But as far as console goes, outside of PvE, this weapon to me will never be one I main in PvP. Guys, thank you so much for coming and watching this video, and as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.